first at six, a massive haul of drugs ending up right here in South Florida, and we're getting a look at how the Coast Guard was able to make the large bust. The Coast Guard says those drugs could be worth billions of dollars. Instead, they will not be getting anywhere near our streets. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is live at Port Everglades where authorities brought those drugs ashore. Kerry? Elliot, it was quite a scene at the port today as the Coast Guard offloaded more than 50,000 pounds of seized cocaine. It's a race in international waters, a go-fast boat speeding with suspected cocaine on board as a U.S. Coast Guard crew closes in on them. This surveillance video from the Coast Guard shows the people on board the boat dumping the suspected drugs overboard. Those drugs are among these 26 tons of cocaine gathered on board the Coast Guard cutter Hamilton. That's probably equivalent to about two plus billion dollars on the streets of America. Coast Guard Vice Admiral Carl Schultz says the Coast Guard, along with the Royal Canadian Navy, conducted 22 interdictions in the Caribbean Sea and Eastern Pacific Ocean near South and Central America over the past few months. We take those drugs out of the Central American corridor. When those drugs get ashore, they're associated with tremendous degrees of violence and criminal activity. They have a tremendous destabilizing effect in the regions. And the cutter Hamilton led the way. The Hamilton was on its maiden voyage and is the first national security cutter stationed on the East Coast. That means they have the technology and capability to remain at sea for long stretches and can take part in these long-term operations. So you see narcotics that we've uh, been able to interdict in bulk. By interdicting it out in the eastern Pacific and Caribbean in tons, uh, we actually are able to interdict in a capacity that we just can't do on the streets. Coast Guard says cocaine smuggling is on the rise, with more cocaine being produced in South America. The agency says they're relying on better intelligence to stop it. We have the best command of information and intelligence that we've ever had going after these, these networks, these transnational criminal organizations. And they hope that means fewer drugs and less violence on the streets of the U.S. It's an tr incredible service to the American people, and uh, it's just great to be a part of it. The crew of the Hamilton is on their way home to their home port of Charleston, South Carolina, where they'll get a much-deserved break. In all, the Coast Guard says about 100 suspected drug smugglers were arrested in these operations. Some of those cases will be prosecuted here in South Florida. Live at Port Everglades, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thanks a lot.